Trying to pose. Trying to look good for the camera. she bought. Always. Cause you're my bitch. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is Liz from Little Homestead on the Hill. And this is Rick. We're All gonna right. build this and do other things today, but this is the first step. Oh, we got a thank you card. We'd love to hear from you. Oh, there's a number. Okay, three, three, four. She's bad number. Oh, hold on. Yep. Oh no, there's little racks in too. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, little, this thing's tiny. I thought it was big. I can get a big one. They're expensive. It does come with tie down strings to here. But it's in our pool area. So I bought, we bought brick. Put down. It does come with nice tie down strings what? and anchors so you can anchor it out in your, your lawn if you got a lawn. It ties to these little loops. Can you stand in it? I don't know if I can. It's already warmer in here than it is out there. Alright, let's see what capture. So solar. I see things a couple days ago, so let's put them in the greenhouse. Off to do more chores. We have purchased these little solar charging lights to go on top of fence posts. You can get them for 4x4 post or 6x6 post. Um, we're going to use, if you use the 6x6, you have to use these little adapters that come with it. Uh, they just go on top of your phone post. They're solar powered. I like to have them out here at night, you know, especially during the summer where we have the pool. We're walking around out here at night, so it's just to make them a little safer, a little secure out here. And, and of course, Liz really wants them just so she can see her goats at night. Yep. 
that was how I was allowed to purchase them because they were before the goats. Hey! <laughs> what? <laughs> Do not try this at home. So what are you doing? Trying it at home. Okay. And now I will need the first one, please. A little trick I learned back in Nam. Um, In order to make these fit, because these are plastic covers that go over the 4x4 wooden post, I actually had to cut these little notches in each corner using my sawzall, just so the corners of these lights would fit down inside there. I've got it recessed in here a little bit now, and I put some screws in there just to kind of more or less a little wind rigidity or just to hold it in place. And then I'm going to use some clear, just some flexible clear sealant. Hey, stop. Get some, uh, Flexible clear silicone that I'm just going to go around the edges of it here. And once that cures, it'll be waterproof. Water won't get in there and it'll keep it, it'll protect it from wind blowing it out of there or anything like that. It'll stop goats from eating it. They're only eating your pants. Anybody who has goats and tries to work around them, you'll understand what a process this can be. Because <laughs> they feel that you should give them all of your attention while you're out here and you should not be doing anything to modify their environment. Right, boys? Unless it involves giving them cookies. <laughs> hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count Honey, come on now and take my hand It's me and you On the road with a couple of tunes And a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night When the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count Honey, come on now and take Get out, we can leave this city 
Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Yeah, we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Part of the week, I get very confused at my menu. So, what are we gonna have this week? I do not know. So, let's see. What do you want to eat this week? Um, let's see. We'll do Mississippi. We're gonna do the Mississippi pot roast. Yeah, we'll do that for Tuesday. Hmm. We'll do shepherd's pie tomorrow because we didn't have it last week. And I got hamburger in the refrigerator. My delightful. What else did we buy recently? Um, Want to do like a chicken alley king this week? Oh, sure. Okay, we'll do that. Chicken alley king. Chicken. Your Majesty. Allah king. Okay. Let's see what else do we really have. Where's my list of what I have in the freezer? Yes, I have a list of what's in my freezer. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, we got those, um, we bought those kielbasa things, those sausages. Oh, yeah, the garlic ones. You want to do the garlic with the potatoes? Irish, Irish? Okay. Irish, Irish hey. sausage hey, that'd be with onions and peppers. And potatoes. Okay, kiddo, what do you want to have this week? Not here. And then Friday we'll do spaghetti with salad. Honestly, meal planning is the simplest thing for me to do. I try to do it every single Sunday so I know what I want to have for the week. I will definitely be filming the Mississippi pot roast with you guys. If any, um, Chicken Ella King, if you want to learn how to make it gluten-free, I can film that if you guys are interested. So we have Saturday and Sunday for next week. So I usually don't plan too much for those because actually I probably, we'll do pizza night again on Saturday because we enjoy pizza. And then Sunday, it's going to be up in the air because the honey likes to either barbecue or grill. So we'll just do a smoking meat or grill meat. I'm going to wrote on our notes, happy birthday to Rick. Honey, because he's going to be... 41 tomorrow. Puppy. Why are you sitting at the table? Can you answer these questions? Do you belong at the table? Huh? Are you spoiled? Ooh. Your flame kissed. <laughs> oh yeah. Since we are about ready to eat, we are going to close this out and I will see you guys on our next. Bye. Bye.